Yeah, I like what you're saying there. I, I, I'm not annoyed. I've been apathetic to Colin Kaepernick and his position for a very long time, probably from the beginning, because I'm going to just simply say it like this. Forget all the things you mentioned and you left out the Kunta Kinte shirt at the workout. I mean, that should go well. Um, here's the thing. When someone tells me they want something, and look, I'm going to be humble up here, but I'm also going to tell the truth. I've accomplished a lot in my life. Mm -hmm. And I know what want looks like. And when someone comes up to me, Whatever it is. It could be, hey, I want to go to Columbia. I want to go to Ivy League school. I want to go to the NFL. And it happens to me dozens, thousands of times a year, it feels like, just everywhere I go. I want to do what you do. I want to broadcast like you. You know how it goes. I got mentees everywhere. I know what want looks like because I know what I had to do to show that I wanted it. This doesn't look like he wants a job. Now, let me tell you why it doesn't look like he wants a job. One... It seems like now he's on this promotional tour. Like, I'm hearing a lot about Colin Kaepernick wanting to get into the NFL. And it makes me scratch my head, like, why now? Interesting. You got Spike Lee on his team traveling with him. Spike Lee traveling with you, filming a documentary. And full disclosure, they reached out to me and want me in a documentary. I don't know. I got to have final cut edit. Because I like you, Spike. You might do the wrong thing on me <laughs> and put me out there wrong. I can speak for myself. So anyway, it's interesting. Colin Kaepernick doing promotion right now for the NFL experience. I want it back. But you just had a movie come out, and you didn't even do promotion for your movie at Netflix, which is, I know that for a fact, because they reached out, and they were like, this dude won't do a Q&A, a magazine cover, won't go to HBCU, etc. That's the all thing. I told you I've been apathetic to this dude, because none of us speak for all of us. So stop coming to me thinking just because we got the same skin color, or we are labeled the same, that we gonna speak for each other. I speak differently. And that's the beautiful thing about being black or anybody in this world. The only box you should be put in is no box. But, unfortunately, you're put into a box if you don't agree with Colin Kaepernick. Because Colin Kaepernick is talking about the oppression that existed at a greater level in the past that exists now? Colin Kaepernick says it does. But that was the same oppression that put you in a position where you had millions of dollars, huge platform, and could all of a sudden become Colin Kaepernick. Remember we talked about it last week? When someone calls the same thing the gas and the brake, be careful. Colin Kaepernick's telling me the NFL is racist, tells me that the NFL is oppressive. Okay, it is. Well, how did you get so high up if it was so oppressive? Oh, I was just one example. No, look at the, the many of white quarterbacks that you had a better football life than, many of quarterbacks that you were the starter and they were backups, many of people who didn't have the same level of success as you, Colin Kaepernick. So when I look at this situation, man, I know this dude don't want to play. I'm going to tell you what I really think. I think that in his settlement, there was something around Colin Kaepernick. Maybe you agree never to play again. But Colin Kaepernick, you can't speak bad against the NFL, but you can speak. And I think right now, these are just him and his team going out there trying to stoke the fire of his martyrdom. Because I don't think he know. I don't think there's an opportunity for him. I don't think he really wants that said opportunity. Because throwing a football on air to receivers that may make it or may not is not how the NFL experience goes. He knows that. He's had year after year after year after year to show that. And when he had the proper opportunity to do it, you know what he did? He tried to blow that spell out up. I need to. Yeah, but Cap is smarter than that, man. And I think he ran a better equation, and he chose how to run that equation through his experiences. Think about it. You sue the NFL, nothing wrong with that. You feel you were wrong, sue the NFL. Here's the thing. You settled with the NFL privately. So now there's a lot going on here that no one knows. Yeah, true. You are legally bound to not speak on this situation as they are as well. So when you had them on the hook, when you had the hammer, and you chose to settle, fine, settle. But I wonder what the fine print of that settlement said, because now, to me, coincidentally, it seems like we've hit a threshold. We've hit a benchmark where, okay, Colin Kaepernick, now you can talk it up. And why are you going to talk it up when this is the same league you portrayed as a plantation in terms of the drafting process and the combine? You want plantation money again? It's just silly, man. You got to move with that stuff. Let me tell you one thing that I did like what Colin Kaepernick said. Because I love it when you keep it that wow. He said, look, how come I can't play in the NFL? He called him out, really. He's trying to challenge the NFL on his principles and potentially his pandering. 
He said you can't have in the, in the end zone in racism and Black Lives Matter, and then you're sitting over there trying to keep me back, and it's not based on the meritocracy. It's based off of professionalism, which can hide words such as distraction in it. It can umbrella that. When meritocracy says, like, he better than some other quarterbacks, get him in the league. I do like that. I like the challenge of Colin Kaepernick using what he has as ammunition to say, hey, NFL, be real to the people. What is it really about? But what I don't like in whole is that I've never met a prospect that ever tried to get an opportunity in the NFL who went about it this way. And especially when they are descending from the heavens. He had it all. He didn't have the epiphany, I guess, at that moment. But when Colin Kaepernick was on top, none of this was existing. And now he's on the bottom, or out the league, I should say. All of a sudden, he wants to kick up dust when 2017 through now, where was all this dust kicking up? He ain't playing me. He playing people out there who thinks he speak for them. And unfortunately, I'm here to tell you, he doesn't speak for you. You speak for yourself. Coming up, Joel Embiid. <laughs>